Hello everyone. The recent pandemic and subsequent lockdown have been horrible for the economy of the country. Every sector, including manufacturing, tourism, has been in crisis and faced pay cuts and joblessness. As a result, the GDP declined by 7.3% in 2020 to 21. But there has been a sector that has grown by leaps and bounds. By now, you would have guessed it, yes, it is the IT sector. Many big IT companies are more prosperous than earlier. Their employees got regular hikes and promotions too. What led it to happen, why the lockdown couldn't disturb the IT sector? We will know all about it in this video. The first reason is work from home. Where sectors like manufacturing, tourism, real estate, and construction struggled to get some work done, the IT sector quickly adopted the work from home culture. Many companies were already accustomed to this culture, so the pandemic didn't cause many problems in the switch. And with the help of a secure cloud workspace nowadays, this has been the general practice in the IT sector, and almost 95% of employees work from home. There have been flaws in work from home, but it is proving to be useful for IT companies for the time being. The second reason is an increase in demand. Many analysts define the various reasons for the increase in demand, the most basic being the shift of business towards cloud-based operation and digital gateways. The pandemic has increased the rate of technology adoption globally as clients and their customers move to a digital environment. Even industries that were traditionally not IT-driven or had little dependence on IT now adapt their businesses to the new normal as they feel the need for more agile digital solutions with a faster time to lead in the market. The filing of the three Indian IT companies shows that their share price profit and revenue have increased, and the reason behind this is the tremendous increase in demand. Proper management of the demand was vital for the profit because there were many changes this time, as new customers, a new type of service, and serving the small-scale industries. And one more challenge was that the customer would ask for a lower price and negotiations. However, two things made it possible. First, clients took an accommodative stance towards pricing because they wanted to continue their business at any cost, so they partnered with vendors who could seamlessly deliver services for them. The second is that vendors quickly transformed their service domain into a distributed delivery architecture to operate over new and small demands. In this new delivery model, costs related to real estate and managing offices will go down over a period of time. This will lead to high growth for IT companies in the future also if they continue with this adaptation. The third reason is the increase in the unemployment rate after the pandemic, and it was a record high at 23.5% in April. Due to some early layoffs in few companies, there was some fear in employees' minds, but this threat passed away very soon due to increased demand. At the start of the pandemic, the looming uncertainty meant fewer people were opting to change jobs. And this led to less attrition in the sector. There are positive feedbacks from the employees of various IT companies such as Accenture, IBM, TCS, Infosys, Wipro, etc. Layoffs have not occurred in many companies, they have gotten reasonable increments and promotions as well. Hiccups exist when work continues around the clock, but employees at some companies say they have now been cared for. Some also say that traveling takes a lot of time and energy, but in work from home, that time is converted to productive work and energy utilized in efficient work. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. Please like and share it for better reach. For any query and suggestion, comment below. Subscribe to this channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.